What's going on guys? We are here at the Ottawa Wildlife Refugee Park. It's a national one, so it's, you know, super better and stuff. I don't know. But basically they have this area divided into different pools and things for the different wildlife. Um, if you guys can see, here's a pool that's right here. And uh, they're really big. You got some geese back there. There's some cranes. There's a whole bunch of different wildlife. There's beavers. There's bald eagles. There's different birds. All that stuff. It is super windy though, so I don't know how much recording we're actually going to be able to do, like with voice. Let's see if we can catch him in the background. I think I see him flying back there. I think he's like over here somewhere. <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry if you guys can't really uh, hear it. This is going to be an awkward angle because I'm trying to block the wind a little bit so you guys can hear me. Um, so yeah, basically we're going to be walking along here trying to find some cool wildlife to take some video of and uh, stuff like that. Probably not a lot of voice just because of the wind. So hopefully this came through alright. <laughs> we'll find out when we get to the editor though. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia a Darling, I'm just so fed up With these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out Expectations, they keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down For a minute and pretend Oh yeah, she Sometimes when you're here, I can't feel no doubts Cause you keep me where the stars are found It doesn't really matter, cause you're here with me now It doesn't really matter It doesn't really matter, it doesn't really matter. cause you're here it does. 
You like your new water bowl from Pet Look Value? Look at that tongue, it's like so long out. Oh yeah, she loves it. She's happy. She's happy. Want more water? So the wind's kind of still going on right now. We're taking a break out here. This is actually Lake Erie in front of us. Um, well, part of it, I should say. It's one of the last pools. The other side of the beach there is Lake Erie. So I don't know if you guys can see the beach. Or if you can even hear me right now because of the wind. It's not as bad as before. Let's see. The beach is right there. Hopefully that's coming in clear. But we're um, about to make our way back because we're at the top of the wildlife refugee. So we're going to go down this trail that's right here and we'll wrap back down around and go back all the way that way. So it'll be fun.
someone got pulled over by the popo. Popo, sheriff's department. There they go, getting pulled over by the popo. <laughs> Entertainment for the win. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Barnside Creamery, and I had a, a donkey on this thing going. <laughs> so we're now leaving the park. Yeah. Mochi has an ice pack. Oh, she took it off of her. Well, kinda. It's on her butt. <laughs> She's chilling her butt now. But it was on her back. She has her water. She's keeping cool. She was hot. All that action. We're stopping. We're stopping. And there's the power plant. Never actually seen one, this is the first. Well, I know, I've seen it before. I've seen a double stack, I can't remember what it was. That's only a single one or something. Right, but it's still big and it's still creepy. Yeah, what's really cool about them though is that the base, they got the water that shoots out the side of them. You can wow. see it on the outside. Do you think they ever give tours in there? No. <laughs> I know that they did, but since there's been... So many calls, incidents? Yeah, incidents, they probably, if they were doing them, probably stopped doing them. I know they're stopping them in other places, like the Hoover Dam too. They stopped at the Hoover Dam. I wonder if you go and you have to dress up and all that and do goggles and everything. Probably do. Yeah. Just like everyone else that works there. Yep. But we're going to say goodbye to that because we're not going to see that for a while. But this park was pretty cool. You guys could, should go see it. Just now when we were driving, we saw um, a bald eagle. Yeah. Except I couldn't get it because we were going too fast, so I didn't get it on camera. But he was just hanging on the tree. I think he was starting to land on it. But it was pretty cool. So there are bald eagles here. I want to see some bald eagles come on up. To, uh, what was the place called? Otawa? Yeah, Otawa uh, National, National Reach. Wildlife Refugee. Yeah. We'll called. put it in the description. Maybe yeah. on the screen too. Look, we're really close to it now. I should probably zoom out of that. Yeah. Wow. Down at the bottom where the uh, black is and those like A frame kind of deals. I'm sorry for the shakiness. It's really hard to not shake. There's water that shoots out of the bottom and help cool the reactor in there. Hmm. Huh. I don't see it. You'll see it if you uh, look at it here. I can. I just got a glimpse of it. It's down at the bottom of the black parts. And they can't see it's just trees. <laughs> See, 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 see the black part where the water is? You can see the black parts. Where all the water is. Uh, I don't know, I just think that's so cool. It's like a waterfall. I don't know, I can't see. I got it, but I don't know if you guys can just pause and see if you see it. I don't see it. I just go really fast. Yeah. Hmm. So we're going to go stop at like a McDonald's because we are thirsty. We had only one cool water bottle. Left. And we drank it all in the heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna have to go stop somewhere. Oh, there's a BP right here. No? Okay, no. Yeah. I thought that there was an actual wildfire that happens. Oh. I thought that there was a wildfire. Turns out there wasn't a wildfire. But uh, basically what happened was I was standing there, I was taking some video of turtles that were up, out on a rock. I know, turtles, right? So there was that. And then what happened was uh, I was walking down a little bit and Jess was farther than me up the trail. Yeah, and I walked up the trail. She actually had her back turned to what was going on. So she was walking away from it. So props to you on that one. You're getting away from danger without even knowing it. <laughs> I didn't even it see it when I went over to the grass area. So basically, there was this crane that was out of the water. I think it was a crane or a swan, something like that. But it was a really nice picture, and I was trying to take the picture of it. And I don't know if I actually got it right. Uh, but as soon as I finished doing that, about you know, 30, 40 yards away, um, I saw these flames leaping through these trees, from what I could see. And I thought it was a wildfire because it was tall. Like I'm talking like five, six, maybe even eight feet tall. I don't know, but you could see them behind the trees. And I started running towards Jess to try to tell her like, hey, there's something going on. You know, I don't know if this is a wildfire. And I'm sprinting over there. And I was like, <laughs> like babe, babe. Yeah, and then I look over to him and I'm just like turning around real sharp. And I'm like, okay, something wrong with Mochi? Cause you're freaking me out. And he, he has Mochi at the time. So I'm just like looking at Mochi and I'm like, okay, 
nothing's wrong with her. I see her running very wobbly because she's tired. I was like, what's going on? And then he's like, look! <laughs> I was like, holy! And there was like a huge wildfire. Yeah, I was sitting there just pointing at him like, there's a wildfire! <laughs> And, and I started freaking out because before I actually when I when we went to park in the car I did see smoke but I thought it was maybe somebody burning wood and when I saw that I immediately thought oh my god did the guy just like mess up and just left it and now it's all burning the entire place yeah that's what I thought so I started freaking out and it's a controlled burn Okay. I've oh. never seen one in my entire life. Neither have I. Yes. That, that's why I freaked out because I was like, um, okay, I see the trucks. There's the maintenance people for the park that were coming our way. And I was like, okay, I do see them. But I was like, I don't see a fire truck. I see yeah. nothing. So I'm yes. like, this must be controlled, I guess. Someone's doing it. And I, because he says, do you see any guys at the fire? And I'm like, at the time when I looked, no, there was no one there. And then when we sat there with the maintenance people at the park, then I started seeing people... Um, driving around the fire, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So I just hung up on the guy. <laughs> it, was, it was a freak out moment, literally. Like, yeah, it, it freaked me out. I was like, it was bad. Scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it made sense because we haven't had a lot of rain, especially, I mean, from where we are at, which is about two yeah, hours. Yeah, it was away, dry and it hasn't dry. rained. It has been dry as well, and you know, we're right there with all those reeds and all those things that can just totally light up super fast. And I was thinking, like, oh my god, you know, this is this is getting burned, like. <laughs> but I'm glad because the maintenance guy actually pulled up on one of the one of the workers and. Yeah, you probably what's might see on. him in the video, in yeah. the little clip on that. I took um, I took a few shots of the actual fire from the hood of his truck across there. I don't know if I actually got the hood of his truck in there, but he was telling us that it was actually, you know, it's a controlled burn, and what they're doing is they put down kerosene. And they, they burn out an invasive species of plant, which I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it's not supposed to be there, and it's not naturally supposed to be there. And they're trying to keep that place natural, obviously. And uh, that's what they did, was they were trying to clear those things out, and the wind was in their favor today, so they were trying to wipe out a huge section of this plant. And um, they actually were doing a few different burns um, there as well so we saw the first initial one that they did and then they did two more after that and then we were already kind of leaving at that point but it was pretty crazy <laughs> yeah. so i'm just glad it wasn't a wildfire that it was a controlled burn everything's okay there was guys over there that are actually maintaining it you guys will probably see some of the yeah you'll see someone riding a by or something yeah, you'll see them yeah you'll see there was a black truck that was one of the park rangers and then there was um I'm trying to think a... I thought I saw a tractor. <laughs> yeah, it was like a tractor thing, but it had, uh, like, tank tracks on it. it right, that's like what I those, saw. Yeah, those trackers or whatever, and there was, like, two or three guys that were riding on it that were part of the controlled burn there, so... It was... it was fun. That it was, was fun. a show. It was a show to watch. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you guys got to see it with us. Yay! And Mochi had no idea what was going on. <laughs> you see, she was just tired. She was just like, whatever. And then we saw her first water snake. That was our, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I've never seen a water snake. I know that they exist up here. I've, I've never seen never... a wild snake, like yeah. in general. I've just never seen one. I've always was told, like, if you go, when I used to live in California, and my parents would go bike riding in the mountains, they would say that there's some rattlesnakes that you could get attacked from, and I'm like, okay. But I've never seen one. <laughs> so I've never seen a snake at all. And you guys will see that the snake was trying to attack the turtles, but I think we came too close and it scared the turtles off anyways. Yeah, but the snake was on the side of the path there and it jumped down into the water. Yeah, so he was actually right on, he was actually on the land, yeah, right by us, so he would have attacked Mochi instead, but because, he caught the turtles instead. Yeah, because I saw that little bit of uh, motion and it was like this little black dot and I thought it was actually a little mini like baby turtle going down towards the water. That's what I thought too and when I, I saw something really like close. move. It moved really fast, yeah. so I was like, oh, it must be a turtle. Yeah, and then Freaked like, out. uh, then I could just plop and we look down the water and there's this snake swimming at <laughs> the other turtles. I'm like, oh my god! That is not a baby turtle. Not a baby turtle. Yeah, we thought it was like the baby for those two big parents or something because they look like parents, so we thought that that was the case. Because a lot of birds, a lot of the geese had baby chicks. If you, I don't know if you did the clip of that. Yeah, I got a few clips of that. Yeah, so they're in there.
home oh, we're getting gas right now as you can see mochi is shaking she is not good with car rides yeah we're tired we're all tired mochi are you tired you look like you're gonna be very tired and i'm sure tink's gonna miss her if you guys are new to the channel tank is our cat and they are like best wrestling friends literally they are oh, I am tired it was an interesting day busy day long drive I think I have dirt on my head probably do a shower and then I don't know what we're doing for dinner I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day I don't know but we'll see you at home <laughs> 